Okay, so now we have, you know, the basic starting, you know, sculpting mesh out here. And what I want to kind of show you are the tools over here and the fact that um, on all programs usually you have your brush draw size, okay? One of the things that happened between 3.0 and 3.12 is your draw size disappeared. Uh, usually it's the bracket keys on your keyboard, right? You notice mine work on one, but it doesn't the other. I'm going to teach you how to make hotkeys real quick. So hotkeys are located for this one. Let's go into here. Miscellaneous utilities, and you see my brush up and brush down. Okay? Increase brush sizes. If I want to remap this back to my bracket keys, all I do is have to hold control and click on this and then press my bracket key. This would be my left bracket key. And then hold control and click on this one and get my right bracket key. Ta-da, I now have the ability to, just like before in ZBrush, if you're, if you're new to ZBrush, you don't know what I'm talking about, but if you're a senior citizen, I would say, yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, so now you have the ability to up your and lower your brush based on bracket keys. Now that's very important to have because now you can, if you have a Wacon drawing tablet, you can remap those bracket keys back to your Wacon tablet and use those small buttons on the side of it to increase and decrease your brush size. So keep in mind everything and anything can become a hotkey and you'll be fine. Uh, let's say um, I want a the brushes that I use all the time to become hotkeys. Same concept. Let's go in here and my number one brush that I probably always use is a standard brush. So I hold control and click on it and maybe I want to map that to my number one key on my keyboard. Uh, another one is my move tool. Okay, control, click on it and put that on number two. Now if I go one and two on my keyboard, I can go in between those two brushes. Very cool. Gets even, <laughs> the rabbit hole gets deeper, trust me. Because another thing that you probably already do is um, these are my stroke values. So my rectangle and dots are some of the two, two most important ones that I always use. So if I just want to map those on 0 and 9, hold control, 0. nine I can now not only switch between brushes but now switch between strokes also <laughs> pretty sweet huh so that is creating hotkeys within ZBrush